To start with our course or CAD 3, what we're going to create bed templates of different designs here. So first, let us uh, start our course with opening the CAD file or the AutoCAD program. There you go. Uh, I actually have a separate version, but uh, we will be using the lower version instead. But again, as I have mentioned before, we can use any version relevant to our specify or specific software okay so just again to repeat we will be creating bed templates so this will be our dimension for x we have 1.2 meter or 1.2 meters yes we will be using meters for our dimensions and then for our y-axis we will be using 1.90 meters this is a standard measurement for a typical double size of a bed template okay and then we will be creating the said template into three commands we will be using a line polyline and rectangle and then we will see the difference between the three okay so whenever you open the CAD software or the CAD program and you see this one so you just have to click this one to start a new drawing although there are a suggested files here which are the recently opened files but we're not going to continue any drawings yet we're going to start everything from scratch so you better click this icon there you go this is the autocad user interface i will be discussing the user face in a real-time basis so for now the let's all have uh start doing the cad bedroom templates so before any command i have to do Control s or save you have to look for a specific folder wherein you're going to save your output. So I have here, I'll be saving your output here. So probably I create a folder, AutoCAD file. And then the subject. That's our cut. So you want to enter and another enter. We will just be using one. AutoCAD file for the enter semester. Okay, so it's basically basically a continuation of one activity on the next. Anyway, for this one, our file, our format for the file name will be your surname underscore. Uh, say you are a r uh, three z underscore. And then the subject that is ARCAD312 underscore AR Cortez, which is, again, yours truly, your instructor. Then after that, you will be seeing here file soft type. So it only means that you can actually open the file until the version of AutoCAD 2010. Okay? And then the file extension is .dwg. You can actually have other options here to have your file saved on a much lower version, but chances if you're going to save it on lower version, you will be encountering problems upon opening it. So 2010 is quite fine. So select that. Again, any files that are created in AutoCAD, most of them have .dwg unless you save them on different format. Okay? Anyway, that's it. Just click save. Uh, before I start everything, I have here uh, the status bar. So I would really suggest you to turn it off. Anything that is blue. Okay. So just here. This one, just if it's turned off or if it's in color blue, just let that be. Uh, I am much particular on the status bar or on the drawing tools. Just turn off everything here. Okay. So again, going back, we need to create this rectangular bed. Again, the X is 1.2, Y is 1.9 in meters. And then we had, or we uh, have here a headrest, which is 1.2 by X and 0.1 on Y. And then we have the usual pillows that 0.45 and 0.30 on Y. Okay, so let's see. I have to create L. Again, on our first template, we are going to use the command line. Okay. So the shortcut is L, and when you type a letter in the program, it automatically goes, it automatically goes to the command line window. So that's L. Enter. It means you are activating the command. 
specify first point okay so I'll just be picking a point here I have to do the x-axis first which is 1.2 but as you can see my cursor is not doing a straight line or it it doesn't have a reference line so I can make a straight line so okay so the next thing to do is you just click this ortho mode okay once you click this one it means you are turning it or activating it by turning ortho on which is a drafting tool it means your cursor is just limited to every 90 degree movements therefore you can create straight lines or straight movements okay now I'll just be guiding my cursor going here and then type 1.2 enter and guide it upward just slowly and when I say pick a point okay you have to click your left button once the left button of your mouse is some basis long ball, okay now I have to guide it upward here that's 1.9 enter okay. and guide it going left or going west and then you can actually use your middle mouse or scroll wheel to zoom to zoom in your object okay just be a little careful lalo na if hindi pa kayo ganun kasanay gumamit sa CAD lalo na for beginners okay so again just guide it that's another 1.2 enter and I can just simply snap here or we have an option to close close means the last segment and the first segment will be meeting therefore creating a close object okay click close there you go again you can use your middle mouse to zoom in and out you can also press your middle mouse press it and hold and you can shift your drawing space from one place to another okay that is pan using your middle mouse or scrolling it up and down even while a command is active that is zoom in zoom out okay now that was actually line okay we're going to make the same object this time we will be using the command polyline okay then we will see the difference okay so again that's pl pl is the shortcut for the polyline command and then x is 1.2 so i'll just be making an assumption here okay so they are in a level i'll be picking and i'll be typing again the amount 1.2 still my ortho is on upwards that's 1.9 enter you can use actually the space bar as enter key in autocad okay so again going west i'll just have to guide my cursor going west and that is 1.2 enter and then i have actually the uh, option to close it same with line okay so click and that's close okay by the way the red uh object that you see on my uh, drawing space is actually the AutoCAD cursor or we actually call it cross here okay we can resize it we can change its color okay so for the meantime ganun muna introduction ko sa kanya I will be discussing on how you're going to change the appearance of your cursor or cross here anyway going back we actually have line here same object same sizes are different commands this one is done in line this one in polyline let's see I'll be clicking it when you click it with your cursor with no command in progress it means and you are doing a pre-selection of the object and when you pre-select any object meron po siya mga grips as you can see ayan there you go okay now these grips when you click one of them such as this one it actually moves okay and all the segments there you go they have grips the grips on the ends are actually one way to stretch to lengthen or to shorten your object okay again those are grips of the line object okay there you go and I'll just be pressing escape to deselect the object and you can actually do control Z to undo your last action or to cancel them okay and I also have the undo button here this is what you call the quick access toolbar although I am much more comfortable using my control Z whenever I want to cancel any actions okay there you go you can click it and click until you get the desired result now that was line the next thing is we actually have here 
uh, another object, same size, but it's made of polyline. Okay? So this one, when you click one segment, everything is selected because any object created using polyline command are considered to be single entity, regardless if ilang segment meron siya. Say, for example, we have one, two, three, four segment object. Four segmented object done through polyline, still it's considered to be one object or single entity. Okay? The difference between each script, although this one you can actually make some uh, modification or stretching, but uh, you cannot move it by using the grips, okay? Although with the middle grips, they are rectangular as compared to line objects. When you actually hover your mouse, hover, ibig sabihin itatapat lang po. You have some options such as stretch, add vertex, and convert to art. Let's see stretch, okay? Let's see, hover lang. You don't have to click the grip, okay? When I say hover, you just have to place your mouse on top of it, okay? And then add vertex. I'll just be clicking somewhere here. There you go. Therefore, creating another vertex that I can easily modify the object, okay? Another thing, again, just hover your mouse and then convert to arc option will be shown. There you go, okay? Same, hover, then options will uh, be shown. That's polyline, okay? So that's the difference between line and polyline. And again, you can always do unlimited control Z until to the last action. There you go. Okay? And of course, the easiest uh, command or the most convenient command for creating the same object is actually rectang, okay? So rectang is a command that creates four-sided object and it's also a single entities, entity such as polyline. So this is it, okay? So the command is rectang or actually rectangle and the shortcut command is rec, okay? So let's type rec, enter. I'll just be making an assumption so things are leveled but we, we actually have a drafting tool intended for that. Uh, we're going to use things one at a time, okay? So let's just resort to the basic Mona. So I'll be picking here and I'll be typing at x comma y or that is at our x is 1.2 comma our y is 1.9. There you go. Just have to press enter afterwards. Okay, so they all look the same but creating a four-sided object is more convenient by the rectangle command. Okay? So as experience na din po, I always use rectangle if I have to create objects like this. Okay? And then same with uh, polyline, since rectangle is a polyline object, when you select, you ha also have these options on the groups. Okay? So I'll just be pressing escape to deselect this one. And I'll be clicking this icon. Actually, line and polyline are are also here even rectangle you can also click the icon okay now I'll be clicking the erase icon or it's also equivalent to a command shortcut command is E enter okay but let's try this one so click this is the pick box a pick box or your cursor will turn into a pick box whenever a command is active and prompts you what to select object at the ball okay so select object, so I'll be clicking one, two, three, and four. So I have selected those four segments individually wherein any objects done in polyline can be selected in one time, even if it consists of several segments. Kasi isang object lang siya. Anyway, I'm done selecting those objects because I no longer need them. Okay, nakakabigat lang po sila ng file size. So better yet, uh, eliminate them okay or erase them anyway that's enter again just in case that you wanted to uh, cancel the last action you can do control Z or just type U enter that's undo also okay earlier we have used the icon this time we're going to use the ta the command letter E okay E is the shortcut command for erase so that's E enter so select this object that that's one two three four and five and enter okay so that's it we're good with that next is i'm going to pan this one here 
we're going to create the pillows okay the pillows are actually uh, 0 0.45 on x and 0 0.30 on y okay so let's see that's our easy enter I'll be picking somewhere here again just make an assumption so that's one and type at uh, 0 0.45 comma and 0 0.3 enter there you go and before I forget we have to check first our units so that's UN enter currently our units it set is set to inches so you just have to click this and you can select meters all the some designers are also using millimeters but for the enter activity we'll be using meters okay and then just click OK there you go nakaset na po tayo sa meters yan automatic po siya nag update okay and that's control S to quick save everything you have done okay next one we need the same object here okay dito po we can type CO enter CO is a command to what? to copy or duplicate object okay so CO enter and then select object so select this enter once you were able to select it specify base point again I have used my uh, cursor my middle mouse to pan and also scrolling up to zoom in and I'll be picking here or kumbaga saan mo siya hahawakan Okay, yun po yung pinaka-concept ni Basement. I'll be picking sa gitna. And I'll just be making some assumptions dito. Okay. Click. Enter. There you go. We have another method of doing that. Uh, we can actually use mirror. But again, we're going to take things one at a time. Okay. But if you want, uh, I'm going to type E. Enter. Okay. So select this. Enter and we will be using a uh, line of symmetry for this one okay so since we're going to use line of symmetry we will be using the midpoint you see we have a midpoint here so we have to activate that by typing os currently it's turned off os is a shortcut command that stands for object snaps these are a specific points and exact points on an object okay so we're going to clear all everything because it's not actually advisable to turn on everything okay so I'll be clicking object snap I'll be selecting endpoint and midpoint okay and then again the lower puyan this one object snap on which is can also be activated even if command is active or not by F3 on your function keys endpoint and midpoint from the term itself end and mid okay so I'll be zooming in or zooming out sorry zooming out by scrolling down my scroll wheel and that's MI enter select the object enter once you're done selecting you will be prompted to specify first point of mirror line okay we'll be picking the midpoint okay one and two and when you click it you will be prompted if you want to erase source object yes or no so no lang po because we want to retain just press enter okay so they are a bit uh narrow with each other but let's say it that way muna okay afterwards we already have the pillows next will be the headboard okay the headboard is same with the bed which is 1.2 and we're just going to copy the x but the y is 0 0.1 okay so i'll just be zooming in with my cursor okay that's scrolling up that's RPC enter and I will be snapping on the end point here okay so I'll snap there and type at 1.2 for X comma 0 0.1 for Y there you go okay we already have the headroom or the sorry headboard not headroom my apology for that we're good so, zoom out natin. We already have the basic of a bed template. We can actually move this one, but again, uh, we will get there as we go along. Okay? I'm just going to copy this. Okay? So, CO, enter. 
Again, CEO is a command to copy or duplicate objects. When you activate the command, you are prompted to select. So we're going to copy this. Yan. Click that. Once you're done selecting, enter base point. I'll be picking the midpoint here. Okay? Click and move downwards. Still, our ortho is turned on. Just in case that is turned off. Say, for example, in off ko ah. So this is how you copy things, or this is how your cursor moves, okay? Unlike if it's turned on, diretso lang po yung, cur uh, yung direction niya, okay? So I'll just be copying somewhere here at a distance of 0.8. Enter. And enter because I'm done. Zooming in, I'll be selecting the object or pre-selecting it because there's no command in progress. You can pre-select it by simply clicking the object with your cursor, okay? And click the grip, okay? So when you click it, just slowly move upwards and type point 0.1 or 0 0.1. Enter, okay? And escape. Ibig sabihin, you are modifying the object. You are stretching it and modifying the dimensions, okay? So this is our pet number one. Zoom out. Okay, and I'll just be pressing my middle mouse. Okay, we're going to copy things. That CO, enter. Okay, so I'll be selecting this, this one, this, and ito. Actually, sinelect natin lahat. Okay, you can actually type all. Pwede po yun. Okay, anyway, sige, press enter because we're done. Specify base point. So I'll just be picking sa midpoint. Yan. And I'll just be guiding my cursor papunta po sa my kanan. And type the distance of 2. Enter. And another enter. Okay? I-check natin if yung distance nga nila is 2 meters. When we say distance, that is center to center or middle to middle po ng object. Okay? So we have one inquiry command regarding the distance of one point to another. We call it distance. Or yung shortcut po niya is DI enter specify first point i'll just be picking the midpoint that's one and that's two okay so let's check on the command line tama nga ba yes it's actually two meters and you can actually have the command line stretch this way okay wag naman po yung i-occupy niya yung buong drawing screen okay not too much something like this will do and actually, you can have the command line floating. You see the series of dots here? I can actually drag that by pressing my left button. Lagay ko dito. Yan. Okay? So, when your command line looks like this, ibig sabihin it's floating. But I want my f command line to be docked or naka-fix. So, by holding this buttons here, I'll just be dragging it to the side. Okay? Yan. Hanggang bumalik siya dun sa kanina, okay? Anyway, after this, ah, retain tayo dito. So, let's go here. Okay. We're going to fillet the corners, okay? When we say fillet, ibig sabihin, nakikita nyo to, yan. Ibig sabihin, the corners are rounded, okay? Pag nag-command ka ng fillet, hindi po siya fillet because fillet is into culinary wherein you are deboning a meat. But in drafting, when you are trying to clean corners or round them, that is called fillet. Okay? So, magtatanong po siya ng radius. Ibig sabihin ng radius, it will be creating an imaginary circle having that radius. Radius is from the center point to the quadrant. Okay? So, therefore, making a rounded corners out of the radius command or out of the fillet command. Okay? So, we'll retain the original bed this way. Okay? This one will be in fillet. And I will be typing E, enter, select object, sabi ng command line, and select this, enter. Okay, I'll be typing F for fillet. Ayan po. F, okay? Or escape ko lang. F, enter. Specify radius. Okay? If you're going to uh, have a radius 0, magiging pointed lang po yung corners. Okay? So, we're going to specify 
that's R, or click the radius option. For this one, we will be using 0 0.1. Okay? Radius is 0 0.1. Enter. And then, we're going to look for polyline option. Since rectangle is a polyline option, or this object was done using rectangle command, ibig sabihin, it's a polyline. So, let's see. Polyline, and then select this. Ayan po. You see the highlight? Ibig sabihin, since polyline option po yung ginamit natin, all corners of that polyline will be rounded. Okay? So, click. There you go. Okay? They're very much visible. Okay? Now, meron pong mga radius na minsan yung operation hindi siya possible. Because the radius might be too small or might be too big. Okay? So, check din po natin yun. So, ratio and proportion po yung tawag natin. Afterwards, we'll be doing fillet options or command. Uh, we'll be doing the fillet operations din po dun sa pillow natin. Okay? So, that's F. Ayan po, sa command line. F, enter. Hindi na muna natin papalitan yung radius. Okay? Again, if the radius is too big, baka mas malaki pa po siya doon sa side or segment niyo. technically, the operation is not possible. Okay? So, we will just be accepting this. We're not going to modify it anymore. And then, just look for polyline. And click. Okay? Enter to repeat the command. Okay? Uh, in any case na wala pong <coughs> excuse me, in any case that there are no active commands on your command line and you press enter, ibig sabihin, you are repeating the previous command. Okay? Now, polyline pa rin tayo. No changes on the radius. Yan, polyline. And select this. There you go. Okay? So, control S to save. For the second bed template, ito siya. Meron siya mga arcs. Okay? So, getting na natin how to do arc. When you create an arc, zoom in ko lang using my scroll wheel, scrolling up, yan. When you create an arc, it's better to turn ortho off. Anyway, tignan muna natin siya naka-on. So, that's A, which is the shortcut for arc. When you create an arc, you have to pick three points, okay? A, enter. So, specify start point. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, Okay? So, okay pa yung ortho natin. But in some cases, mahirap gawin yung mga curves pag naka-ortho on. Anyway, ulitin natin. A, enter. So, you pick here. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? And another one. A, enter. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, we're good muna na naka-on si arc. Okay? So, again, ulitin ko, there are some instances wherein if you are creating arcs and your ortho is turned on, it's quite hard to modify them. Anyway, once your arc command is done, okay, tapos hindi ka gano satisfied dun sa appearance niya, with no command in progress, pre-select your object, okay? You can actually make some. Now, if any case, actually, gusto kong ibalik sa, sa dati. So, I undo ko lang po by clicking this. There you go. Okay? Now, if just in case, nag-arc kayo, A, enter. So, that's 1, 2, and lumagpas siya dito. Walang problema. Kunwari, na-click nyo. We just have to cut it or trim it. Okay? So, TR is enter, enter. And then, select po natin yung lumagpas. Okay? Although, for other versions, such as versions 20, 21, and higher, you just have to press 1, enter. Okay? So, TR, enter. Isa lang po. Automatic na siya magtitrim noon. But if you are using lower versions, you have to uh, press enter twice for that command. Okay? Sige, zoom out ko lang. And then again, that's another CO or copy. I just have to pick from here. And there you go. This is another way of selecting your object. Kanina kasi, we have used the pick box, diba? This time, we will be picking 
when I say pick point, isang click lang po. Okay, isang click. And isang click po dito. Okay, as you can see, dapat uh, using this method of selecting object, which is the window selection, dapat lahat po ng object, 100 pumasok dun sa, 100% na pumasok dun sa selection. Okay, so click. Again, if there are some parts of the objects that are not selected, you can still select them with your pick box. Pwede naman po. But this one kasi is easier. Lalo na kung maramihan sila, mas mabilis. Okay? So, press enter. Once you're done, let's look for the base point. Let's pick here. And actually have the midpoint here. Click and do it this way. Okay? Naka-ortho on pa rin tayo. Ayan. Click natin dito. Then type the number 2. Enter. And another enter. Kasi, big sabihin, pag pinres mong enter, you're already terminating the command. Tapos ka na. Okay? So, you can still select pa naman, but we're done. Anyway, that's control S. Okay? You can press your middle mouse for pan. Okay? Scroll up, scroll down. Okay? Now, mauna muna tayo dito. Okay? So, we're going to use age for this. Enter. H is a command to hatch objects using different patterns. Okay? Unahin natin yung pattern dito. Look for user defined. Okay? That's user defined. Si user defined, when you click somewhere here, ayan po siya. Okay? Uh, I'll just be adjusting the spacing. Okay? I'll just have to press downwards. As you can see, yung spacing natin bumababa. Press ko lang po na matagal. Ayan. Okay? So, we have one line to the next which has a distance of 0 0.09. Okay? So, press pa natin isa pa. Okay? And then, for this, pwede natin siya lagyan ng angle. Okay? Pwede nyo rin siya lagyan ng color. Say, you want it purple. Okay? And what I have used is pick points. Okay? Nag-click ako dito. And as much as possible, the area to be hatched should be closed. Sarado. Okay? Walang nakabukas. It should be an area, a closed area, or a boundary. Okay? So, this were my setting. I already have provided an earlier video module pertaining to hatching. So, you can always uh, view that for further lessons. Okay? So, I'll just be clicking close. Just in case I want to change something, I can just simply click this. Say I want this one to be so to be at 45 degrees. Okay, enter. <coughs> Excuse me. And escape because I'm done. Okay. And then I just have to pan. Okay, press uh, enter to repeat hatch or that's age. Enter. Okay, I'll be selecting this one naman. Okay, click. And, aha, uh -huh, I'll be looking for a color na lighter lang. Okay, so I'll be selecting this color instead. And then, I have clicked this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want somewhere 0 0.005. Enter. O masyado manipis. Or just basically 0 0.01. I guess that will do. Enter. It's too dense. Let's see. Kasi nagtatan siya lang ako. Okay, so there you go. Now, uh, I have this specific amount, 0 0.02. And then, punta ako ng properties. I can actually have that double. Okay? There you go. And I'll be picking here also. So, simultaneous hatching. And then, close. Okay? So, that's actually our first bed template. Using hatch, particularly anong ginamit natin, user define muna. Okay? So, escape ko lang. Dito tayo banda. This time, gagamit tayo ng ibang options. Okay? So, H ulit. Uh, we actually have select option. 
Okay? Pag select, ibig sabihin if the object is a polyline entity, you can use the select option. Okay, eto. Select. And then from user define, I will be using solid. Yan. Okay? And close ko lang siya. Yung isa, wala pa po. Ulitin natin. H, enter. Same settings. Solid. Same color. So, I'll just be selecting this. Click. Okay. And close. Okay? Ma'am, bakit po yung kanina sabay? Pwede naman. But look at this one. Since I have done this through one command, when I select the other, everything is selected. Okay? Because it's done which is same command with one command okay but if i will be selecting this one the other is not selected because i have done it on individual command okay so depende pa rin po okay so meron mga scenario that both are or this one is applicable the other is not okay so let's move forward again that's another age aha uh -huh. from solid i will be using aha uh -huh. pattern okay so, click natin dito. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what we can use. I'll be selecting cross. Okay. Cross. And then, hmm, let's see. Let's make a darker shade for this. So, eto. Yan. So, I'll be selecting this one for the color. And then, this time, hindi na siya select object. Kasi, eto po yung fill natin. Okay, ito yung lalagyan natin. So, it's already pick point. So, you see the difference between the two. Okay? So, click. There you go. But it's too dense. So, I just have to press upwards. Parang scaling natin naman. Lumawang-luwang yung one object to another. Yan, I'm good with this. And, minsan na lang. So, I click ko din to. And enter. Ibig sabihan, you're satisfied with what you have seen. And in any case that you want to edit that, you can erase it or you can just simply select it. And this is the ribbon. Okay? So, pwede mo siyang palitan dito. Okay? So, escape ko lang. And another, probably age for hatch. Okay? So, this time, I'll be selecting solid. Pick points po ako. And somewhere a color that is the tie some more colors. Okay, something like raspberry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then click. I'll be picking one and I'll be okay lang yan. Just have it zoom in. And another one. As long as walang open, it's possible. Nakita nyo naman yung red marks kanina. Ibig sabihan, it's a warning that there might be open areas but wala naman pong siwang yun sa atin it's closed so in-enter ko lang or kinlik ko lang po ulit yung boundary anyway I'm good with this so click okay so there you go this is our bed template number 2 sige lagyan na natin to okay zoom in ko lang H enter okay so select and click this I'll be using a uh, pattern for this Okay, and then I'll be clicking this one. Mm hmm Let's see. Probably, I'll just be using... Meron ako nakitang wood dito eh. Aha, aha. Ito na lang. Okay, we'll be using this. Uh, angle is... Let's see, 135. Enter. Okay. Masyado malaki yung spacing. So, I'll just be... Yan. Be creating or pressing this button here para bumaba po yung hatch scaling natin. Okay. So, I'm good with that. Hindi ko na siya pinalitan ng color. I'm good with it. I want it to be coordinated sana. That's why I'll stick with my raspberry shade. Okay. So, click close hatch creation. Okay. There you go. Ang cute nila. Now, for the last part, Okay, I'll just be making a pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be eliminating probably E enter. I'll be eliminating this two. Okay. And no, not really that. I just have to do an uh control Z. This is our sample kasi. Okay, so ayun na lang. 
So E enter, select this and that, enter. Plus you don't have to necessarily copy what's my design. Okay? Uh, these are just sample. Para pareho lang po tayo ng sukat. Para pareho tayo ng mga objects na to. But for hatch, for patterns, for colors, you have to use your own. And if you want to add more or create more templates than these three, you are encouraged to do so. Okay? So anyway, lagay ko lang yung dalawa dito. Tapos lagyan ko siya ng circle. Okay? Eto. We have a smaller circle where in radius is 0.60 and a bigger one which is 0.8 and the biggest is 1.5. Ulitin ko, radius is from where? From the center point to the quadrant. Okay? Okay. So, let's see. See enter. Nagtatanong siya ng center point. My center point will be here sa midpoint. So, I'll be picking that. And I will be typing 0.6. Enter. And then, or sorry. I have to do control Z. It's not point 0.6 pala. Since quadrant to quadrant siya, that is the diameter. Okay? So, our radius is technically point 0.3. My apology for that. So, C, enter. Pick here. And that's point 0.3. Enter. C, enter. This is my center point. Kasi nagtatanong siya saan yung center point ko. So, I'll be picking here. Okay, and I point four because the enter diameter is point eight. See enter. I'll be picking here again. This time our diameter is one point five. Therefore, kalahati nito, which is the radius, is point seven five. Enter. Okay. So quick save, and I have to eliminate the excess. So that's tr. Is an enter if you're using versions of the recent one, okay? But isa pang enter if you are using the older ones, okay? So, tanggalin ko lang po ito. Okay? Enter. Okay? And then, this time, we will be using GD. Okay? GD is gradient. It's two-tone. Para siyang solid hatch. Same concept siya that you have to fill up a closed polyline object or a closed boundary. But this time, uh, dalawang color naman po siya. Okay, so let's see. Uh, same pa rin. I'll be using this and this. Okay, and pick points ako. This is one. Enter. Okay, and enter. Uh, click ako dito ng ibang option. So, ito yun. Okay, and click here. And click on the other side. Sorry. Yan. And enter. There you go. Enter to repeat gradient. Palitan ko lang. Lagyan ko lang siya ng black shade. Yan. Okay. Tapos, from here, I'll be selecting this. You have other options, class. Ha? Say, for example, eto. Select object ako kasi. Eto naman. Okay. Now, uh, meron din po siyang angle. Tignan nyo. When I move the slider, yan, umiikot po siya nag yung orientation. Okay? Then, enter to accept that outcome. Balik ako dito. Press ko lang po yung middle mouse. I'll be doing here. And that's another GD. Okay? I'll be selecting the... Okay, this one. This spherical. The other one kasi is inverted. So, I'll be using this. And since I want to fill this area, so it's pick points, okay? One, and the other one, two. There you go, okay? And close. If you want to fill up the other areas, such as hatch patterns, pwede naman, okay? Hanap tayo. See, for example, eto. I guess this is so dense. Let me see. Baka masyado siyang maliit or malaki. I'm pressing this button, okay? Anyway, ayaw niya. Pili tayong iba. Ayun. Okay? So, this one will do. Or, let's see. Any pattern. Okay? Enter. And enter to repeat. Although, this one is intended for roofing material. But, kasi kaya nang bahala on what type. 
Okay, anyway, we are just practicing muna the hatch and gradient command. I'm good with this, so close na lang. Okay, so that's Control S, and when you press your middle mouse, okay, so all of the objects in your screen will fit in. Okay, when you press the middle mouse, that is technically zoom extent. Again, kung hanggang saan meron kang object, mag-fit siya sa screen. If just in case, dito sa malayo, meron kang circle, hindi mo napansin, nag-double click ka, ayun, mag-fit din po siya sa screen. Because that is extent. Kung hanggang saan ka may drawing. Okay? So, burahin ko lang po ito. Maybe what you can do is just span your drawing sa gitna. Yan. Okay? And then, open word. Okay? Papa-save as ko muna siya in word. Use uh, a layout or an orientation of landscape. Okay? And then, balik tayo sa cut. Print screen muna tayo, class. Wala muna tayo sa page and paper layout. Okay? Print screen muna. Then, after you press the print screen button, you paste it by control V. Okay? So, ayan na muna siya. If you want to adjust it, pwede naman po. You can actually click the margins into narrow. Yan. There you go. Huwag niyo siyang i-adjust dito. Okay? I want a uniform adjustment just in case you resize ninyo. Now, you're going to save this one. Kayo nang bahala kung anong file name. It's either uh, your uh, surname or whatever, then your section. Tapos, pag sinave niyo siya, look for PDF. Okay? This is not the proper folder. I-locate nyo na lang yun sa inyo. So, you save it on PDF. You upload sa akin, isang PDF lang po, na naka-landscape orientation. Okay? So, wait for further announcement regarding po sa iba pang instruction. Thank you for listening.